Well, exactly what would you do for a free ride? Well, in Pittsburgh, brave souls are allowing themselves to be guinea pigs in the first large-scale testing of driverless vehicles by Uber. Fox News' Rob Schmidt takes us along for the ride. A look into our future in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, as Uber rolls out self-driving cars for its customers. The company isn't quite ready to take its hands off the wheel. A backup driver, an engineer, will be in there for the foreseeable future in case something goes wrong. The NTSB certainly has its concerns. There are several concerns. I mean, just the theory that if you remove the driver, you remove driver error. There are several defects to that theory. First of all, the automation has to work. If the automation doesn't work, then what? If the automation fails, will it fail safe? Uber the first to roll out this technology to the public, but many others, including Google, Tesla, and Ford, are working on it as well. Critics say the technology isn't ready for the road. And in May, a reminder that it is still a work in progress when a man was killed in a self-driving Tesla that barreled into a tractor trailer. Regardless, we went for a spin. Here we are coming off a bridge. The car knows that the light just turned green, and now, as you can see, it's turning itself turn signal and everything, I had nothing to do with that. Obviously, there's a lot of skepticism about the safety of these cars, but you can't deny that the technology is amazing. A spinning LIDAR on the roof, basically a radar that uses light from a laser, provides a 360 scan of everything around the car. And there are also 20 cameras that not only see everything, but predict where it will go. Would you be gutsy enough to be one of the first people to jump in a car with nobody driving? Oh, not a chance. I have no interest, okay? <laughs> it's bad enough with a driver, let alone not having one. I believe in moving forward, so maybe if this is one thing that we have to do to move forward, then I would be willing to give it a try. Each year, car accidents, mostly from human error, kill more than 30,000 Americans. So you might be asking, why Pittsburgh? Well, Pennsylvania has some very business-friendly laws in this realm that are allowing Uber to do this much-needed real-world testing. And also, Pittsburgh has Carnegie Mellon University, which has some of the best minds for this type of work. Uber has been tapping a lot of that talent. Lauren and Nicole. Pretty neat. Rob Schmidt, thank you.